My name is Johnson Chan. I'm the uh, Managing Director for Claybridge Biomedics. Our company is developing a microfluidic biochip uh, that can uh, isolate uh, sickly tumor cells uh, from uh, cancer patient's blood. As you know, uh, when a patient has cancer, there are these uh, little uh, cells that circulate within the, the body. And most patients don't die from the primary tumor, they die from the uh, metastatic t- tumor. Johnson explains how this biochip technology is a disruptive one in the biotech world. We believe that this technology is potentially very disruptive because it can affect the and really help the entire cancer management process and enable personalized medicine and companion diagnostics. The idea is that when a patient has cancer, he can do a blood draw for confirmation whether he or she has cancer and to also look at what types of these cells are in the body and uh, prescribe the appropriate treat- treatment. The current method of cancer analysis involves the usage of needles and x-rays, both of which may lack accuracy and mean higher costs and pain for the patients. The biochip technology potentially improves the entire cancer management chain from screening to whether the medication works right down to remission and whether the cancer re-emerges. For biomedical companies, funding and financing are critical because building a device and clearing regulation takes at least a year, usually two. Luckily for Johnson, ClearBridge had the support of the National Research Foundation for its Series A funding. In March, it raised a further 7 million US dollars in Series B funding. So typically in, uh, in the Stage A, uh, uh, Series A, uh, they will be looking for where is the market potential, um, what is your underlying base technologies, what are your IPs that, that you have, and for Series B, um, they will definitely be looking more towards um, execution. What are your execution plans? Who are your partners? How, how what is your sales development? What exactly are you going to do? What, what are your uh, paths moving for, forward? And it, it becomes much more uh, rigorous. People often get carried away that they can close a, a financing round you know, in three months. But in, in my experience, it typically takes about six to nine, nine months from the day that you engage. Especially if you move to uh, subsequent later rounds, uh, it, it typically takes a longer time. But how much fun? Funding is enough, and when is it too much for a startup? There is a saying in the in, in the uh, startup space that uh, money is like sug- uh, sugar, so you can get ad- addicted to, to to sugar. But you know, not enough uh, sugar you can really move, and so this is really a balance. I have seen a lot of companies uh, who have raised financing and really uh, burn through the money really quick. I think in in, in today's uh, age, um, it is probably. Um, more prudent to manage this. On hindsight, Johnson realizes the importance of getting the buy-in of everyone. And you're always going to have a lot of work. You're always going to have things that demand your attention. And I think if I knew that uh, it's going to be a constant in your life, I would have built this much earlier on in, in into my work-life uh, b- balance. And to really get the uh, family on board and to have their uh, acceptance and buy, buy in, 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 in into the whole process so that it, it becomes an integral part of your life so, so they can better manage this.